so you saw the need for the halal entertainment both videos yeah. and games why can't we muslims just stop watching anything at all to save ourselves from the challenges that modern media presents why should we be investing in the entertainment at all yeah the challenge is like we have to see what is making this so addictive mm -hmm. like how often have you walked down the street and someone is not on their phone and they're doing this exactly yeah. they're always doing this they're on instagram they're on facebook so if you don't take the movies away we still have social media yes. if you take social media away they still have video games yes. if you don't take video games no matter what you do there's another path they're going to go another direction they're going to go so we instead of just pretending they don't exist let's provide the halal alternative to these things to make it easier for those people because what happens is these industries they understand what happens like they know that when you are playing video games your brain is releasing dopamine it's the same thing that happens really when you when when you're in social media you're you're going up and down your dopamine is increasing and that makes you feel good so people don't know the first thing they wake up they go check their phone yes it's that release of dopamine that makes you feel good yes so we know that people are addicted to this so let's find an alternative for them to feel good still but without having to look at haram things all the time so that's the whole idea inshallah virtual reality this is an another level are you thinking about virtual reality i was in virtual reality i was bought one of the first virtual realities right when it first came out when no one's using it okay. so we've been using it for years virtual reality my daughter loves it really she spends a lot of time building in virtual reality she that's what she wants to do wow. for a living wow. she wants to be one of those developers that builds in virtual reality that the different world <laughs> so she's wow. building in that she wants to build in that world inshallah it's, it's, it's right around the corner augmented yes. reality virtual reality so instead of like fighting it let's figure out how we can do to use this technology to help us inshallah like for example the fall of Islam wasn't because Islam wasn't powerful. The fall of Islam was when Muslims stopped taking technology from the West. Like, for example, the, the printing press. When it first came out in the 1600s, the Muslims didn't take it. They said, this is made by the Kufar. We're not going to accept it. We were only by, written by hand. So what happened was Europe was moving at light speed, and we were moving at a snail pace. Yeah, exactly. And they jumped ahead. Yes. But we had all this knowledge, and we couldn't spread it at the hand speed when they were printing at the printing mm. speed. So we have to say that as long as the technology is not haram, we can use that tool. Just like we're using a tool right now. You can use this tool for good or bad. Yes. But the tool itself doesn't become haram. Yeah. It's how you use it can become haram or halal. That's the thing to keep in mind. So, But I'll make, I, I want to mention one thing about this. Hmm. If we do not support the few, not there's many, the few Muslims who are making these films yeah, that are like exactly, really good, yeah. yes. they're going to stop making them. Yes. And they will start making them for non-Muslims. And we're going to lose more and more talented Muslims. We have been losing so many. Yeah. Trust me. Because yeah. we're not supporting them. Yes. So very few people are making these things. And as I mentioned... Just... I think many of the creative yeah. brothers, Yanni, even for me, I was told not to paint. You know, I, I just burnt all my paintings. It was like, we should not be doing that one. We should not be entering into that one. So I gave up on that. People, there are many guys who are into animation and everything. They they just left it because we weren't given some solution for this. This yeah. is so bad. I think still we don't have the solution for this. Yeah, we really need to work together and bring a lot of talented people together. There are people who have no talent, but they have a lot of money. They have money, they have good intentions, but they don't have talent. Yeah. Then there's people who have a lot of talent, but they have no money to fund it. Mm -hmm. The idea is to bring these people together yeah. so we can make some amazing things. And I think, seriously, I think the Muslim Ummah has a lot of talented people and it has a lot of wealth. Yes. It's the fact that we don't have anyone working together. If we can work together, we can make some amazing things. Yes. I've been very fortunate enough to meet a lot of the Muslims mm -hmm. as I've been traveling around the world doing my comedy. Mm -hmm. And I spent a lot of time with scholars, with filmmakers, with artists, and realizing that we have a lot of talent. It's just yeah. unfortunately yeah. we're not really working together. The network is not yet built. Yeah. yeah. So what, what are your problem. thoughts for filmmaking? What are your suggestions for filmmaking? Well, as I was mentioning earlier, the Bone and Muhammad's filmmaking company in Canada is the best one I've seen so far. Really? Let me tell you an example of what I mean by the best. We were doing the film and he said, Ali, I asked him, we don't use the word stupid. We're, I'm doing a kid's show and we're the bad guys. I would say, hey, you stupid. He says, you can never use the word stupid. 
I said, why? Wow. He said, because if you say it in a funny way, the kids may copy you. Yes. And the kids in the future will think Baba Ali is funny, so I will say stupid, stupid, stupid. Mm. Mm. But this is how much detail he is. So he wants it to be really funny, but he said, find a different way to say something funny that is not a bad thing to say if kids repeat you. But it has to look like a real bad guy. So that was some of the things that how much thought goes into it. But then you see the quality of it looks really good too, alhamdulillah. And it's very funny. Mm. By far the funniest movie I've been in, in all the different things I've worked on, that has been the funniest. So uh, it's just hard to get to people to learn about these things, especially during the pandemic. You know, during the pandemic, the movie theaters are not open here in Los Angeles. And, and we just told recently they're being closing things again, inshallah.